hi family hello 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 to everyone and welcome once again welcome back to you all welcome to all of us who always comes back i've missed you so much i've missed you so much i know i've been gone for a while um i haven't been able to do our prayers and prophetic words like we always do um actually i was very very busy i had so much going on i had so much that i had to take care of so it didn't permit me to actually come live and that's why i haven't been able to come live for us to pray but i want to thank every one of you who showed in love concern support in one way or the other i received so many messages and i want to say thank you very much for checking thank you for the love you always show to this channel to me and my family to this ministry may god bless you and may he multiply that same love and send it back to you in jesus name amen and amen and amen welcome to all of those that are new um, if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time, my name is Chantal Ekabe and always I come to you with the word of God and also prophetic words from our Father in heaven. So um, actually, um, I have something that I want to share with us today. Um, this is not my studio though, but uh, my studio is still to be set up. I have to set it up, but for now, I have to release this word because it's been on my spirit for days, actually three days. And I'm feeling like the Lord wants me to release it to someone. So it's a beautiful word. It's something beautiful that God is, um, God wants to do, actually. He's intending to do this. So the Lord has been speaking to me. I will start by saying the first thing that he told me about. The first thing that came to my spirit. So the Lord spoke to me. He said, he has brought us into a season of victory. The Lord has brought us into a season of victory. Someone, the Lord is saying you are in your season of victory right now. And um, in this season of victory, the Lord is set to lift you up suddenly. There is a sudden lift that is coming to someone. There is a sudden lift that is coming to your business, to your career, to your ministry from the Lord. Believe me, God has a lifting coming for someone and it's going to happen suddenly. And this is because he has brought you into a season of victory. I heard the Lord saying that we've been through so much. We've been through so many things, challenges, battles, you know, emotionally, physically. We've been through so much. But that is not his will. That is not his intention for us. Even though these things come to us, they happen in our lives. The Lord is saying, I let them happen for a reason. I let them happen for a purpose. It is because I'm taking you somewhere. Life is a journey. As we all know, the Lord takes us from one stage to the other, from one point to the other. And the Lord is saying that in this stage that I've just brought you into right now, in this season that I've just brought you into right now, this is a word for someone though. He's saying that you have entered into victory. You have gotten into a place of victory. And I'm already getting him saying that that victory is going to extend you know, in a mighty way, in a long way, it's going to extend. I don't know how to put it, but I'm seeing an extension. It's going to extend maybe throughout this year. It's going to extend maybe in two years time, in three years time. You're going to be in a position where you keep getting victory. Victory over the works of the enemy. Victory over challenges. Victory over poverty, you know, like financial need. Victory because God is bringing you to abundance. Victory because the Lord is bringing you to overflow. Victory in the name of jesus and the lord is lifting someone right now maybe you're into a career and you've been there for a while you haven't gotten promoted yet or maybe you have a ministry that the lord has given you you've started up something you've started a ministry and you haven't seen the growth that you've been believing god you know to happen you haven't seen that growth here you haven't experienced a growth in your ministry the lord is saying this is a season of sudden lifting this is a season of sudden visitation for you this is the divine timing for your lifting in the name of Jesus. I see the hand coming so strong upon someone, the hand of God. I see his hand resting so strong upon someone for a lift this season, for a lift, for an increase. I hear in my spirit an increase in the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, I'm increasing you. I'm increasing you. I'm increasing you. There is a dimension I see. There is a dimension I see that is being opened right now in the realm of the spirit. God is taking you to a different dimension, a whole new dimension. There is a dimension that is being released right now. Hallelujah. 
glory to jesus glory to jesus glory to jesus i feel my spirit you know i feel actually i feel my spirit lifted up right now and i'm feeling the lord is telling me that we have to also pray on this we have to pray on this you know anything that has stopped your lifting whatever it is that has hindered the lifting of god upon your life the increase that you want to see happen the expansion the flow that you're believing god for we are going to be praying that that thing will be taken away in the name of Jesus but for someone the Lord is saying I've already established you in the season of victory and in this season I'm lifting you in this season I'm taking you higher in this season I'm taking you higher there is a higher dimension for you in the name of Jesus Father, we thank you. And the Lord is saying to me right now some of us have these challenges that are going on some things that are on your part right now some of us have these things that are blocking us right now and the lord is saying leave it to me it is not your battle it is my battle it is not your battle it is not for you to fight it is for me hallelujah the lord is saying whatever challenges you is challenging me and whatever challenged you in the past is challenging me and nothing can challenge me and succeed no one can challenge the name of jesus for the bible says his name is powerful and is more powerful than every other name and at the mention of that name every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord unto the glory of the Father. Nothing can challenge the name of Jesus. Nothing can challenge our God. The Lord is saying it is not your battle. It is my battle and I am fighting it for you right now. I'm fighting it for you right now. Your enemies are my enemies. Hallelujah. God is fighting it for you right now. Just hand it over to God. Give it to him right now. And I see the Lord fighting for you in the name of Jesus. God is fighting to establish you. God is fighting to establish you. He's fighting to rest his glory on you. He's fighting to take away whatever the enemy has deposited on you. That is blocking his glory. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Abba, we glorify your holy name. There is something that the Lord played on my heart and I want to share this thing with us. I believe it's going to bless someone. I want to let you know that there is a man or a woman out there, a minister of God, a pastor, a bishop, a prophetess, a prophet that the Lord has called to speak over your life, to speak over your life and to speak things into happening over your life. This is not something to play with. The Lord speaks to us but then there are people of higher authorities or grace even in the spirit in the spiritual journey that he has called us into that he has placed to speak over your life i'm saying this because last night when i was praying um i actually experienced something and it blessed me so much so while i was praying last night um i felt i felt i felt the lord leading me to pray and join a certain prayer you know it's a movement that has been on youtube for a while now they've been praying and praying and praying and it's been powerful it's been life-changing and i felt the lord leading me to join them so i actually connected and i joined them and i was praying and there's this issue i've heard on my right ear I've been praying about it. I've been praying, you know, like I don't listen. Like it's it's hard for me to be um to be able to get someone very well on the left on the right side of my ear. I find it a little bit hard because because of, of a blockage that is there. And so I've I felt the Lord leading me to join those people and you know pray with them um last night and I did that. While I was praying, the Lord said, join them even in their communion. You know, after the prayers, they do take communion. The Lord said, join them in their communion. And I did that. I obeyed the voice of the Lord. I went into the kitchen. I got my communion. I got my wine. I got my bread. And I came and I joined them. I sat there. I was praying. He said, this is going to be a um, communion for healing. He said some things. And I connected. You know, I connected. And I said, Lord, I thank you because I know you're speaking through this man. You're using him right now. And it's going to be a blessing to me. It's a great man of God. So I, I went on my knees and I partake of the communion with them. And immediately after, 
my god the power of god is real the power of god is real immediately after the communion my ear burst wide open this is something that i have struggled with for a while now and i've prayed about it i've prayed over it i've prayed warfare i've taken drugs medications but it did not go last night the lord proved to me that he's a miracle working god and that if only we can obey his voice if only we can keep being faithful if only we can stay in his presence there is nothing he will not do for us there is nothing he's not gonna give us hallelujah god is a god of surprises and i want to encourage someone maybe you've been waiting on the lord for a while now and he hasn't happened yet he hasn't come true for you it doesn't mean he's not gonna come true no god does not do things the way we do them sometimes his timing is not our timing he will come true definitely but sometimes it's not gonna be when you are expecting him to but even when he does come true, eventually it will be better than you think. It will be bigger than you think. Hallelujah. It will be greater than you think. God comes true. God is faithful. God is real. God is good. Miracles are real. And they are still happening. Even now, all what God wants for us to do is to connect. He just wants us to believe. He just wants us to go as he leads, as he wills. And definitely he will bless us. There were things that I prayed and I believed leave the Lord for even while I was a kid and I felt like these things you know maybe will not come to pass because of some of the delays I experienced but the Lord made it happen for me in a great way in a powerful way so I want to encourage someone that is watching God knows and sees it all he knows it even better than you do and he's telling you daughter son man of God woman of God God is saying I will do it for you I never fail it is not in my characteristics it's not in my character to fail hallelujah i will do it for you so definitely yeah this is the word that i wanted to share with someone the lord is saying there's a sudden lifting that is coming to you in your household you're going to experience a sudden lifting the lord is saying that i'm going to be opening a door that will bring that lifting to you the lord is saying i'm bringing you to a place of victory hallelujah the lord is saying that his spirit is there to help and direct you guide you in the path that you should follow hallelujah so that you can walk in this victory that he has called you to walk on god is so good thank you all very much once again for joining thank you for always coming i love you so much please make sure you join us in our prophetic prayers we're going to be starting any moment from now it's not very certain to me when bird because i'm actually still doing some setups right now but any moment from now we're going to resume full time we're going to continue praying and uh, you know i know that god is doing so much and i definitely know that it's going to also be a blessing to you in jesus mighty name amen i love you so much and i do hope to see you in our next video by his special grace and until then remain blessed bye